Hi everyone, LP here, and uh, I want to talk to you about some of the stuff that's going down on the political side. Yeah, if this isn't for you, please swipe left, whatever else you do to move on to something more entertaining. But uh, I'm more into the fact-based stuff. So here we go. Yesterday I got into uh, a little bit of a uh, kerfuffle with one of my followers about how, uh, you know, some of Captain Red Tie's picks are not making them happy. And what I'm finding is is these people are generally just the, for lack of better words, they like to live on the moral high ground, but if you looked into them particularly, you probably find out that they're no more moral than anyone else on the planet. Uh, now, I'm not saying that they're immoral. What I'm saying is, is that if a guy makes 100 choices and one of them's bad, is the world going to end? No, it's not going to. So I would say that in the particular case of Matt Gates, that uh, the uh, he may have just been overreaching there. He may have just been like kind of hoping for the best but preparing for the worst. There's really not a lot to be said about it. The reality is, is that nobody likes Matt Gates. It was a giant popularity contest. He lost. The cool kids didn't want him around because he just causes too many problems for them in particular. It makes them look stupid. Now, this uh, <clears throat> this new pick of his for Attorney General, was it Paoli or pa pa Paoli? I'll put something to her name in here someplace. <clears throat> what you guys have to understand, and some people are really locking on to the whole snippet that somebody put out there about how she wants to to take, she's not 2A friendly, and she wants to take away the guns. I even watched another prepper channel today talking about how it's not making them happy because of some of her uh, views on gun rights. So, to set the record straight, that she did it, she did this, had this conversation with Captain Red, Red Tie some, some months, if not years ago, while he was the president, and she was the attorney general for the state of Florida, where they had actually written into Florida's laws something very similar to what the scary people want you to think uh, as scary uh, is the, uh, uh, it's basically a red flag law. Now, this particular law that they wrote into, into uh, uh, the uh, state of Florida says that if you get hauled off for a psychological issue and you get held for your 72 hour, um, hold on, I gotta look at traffic here, for your 72 hour whole psychiatric hold, that the police have the right to take your guns and hold them until after you are released. And then after you are released, the police have to go to a judge and explain to them why they want to keep your guns or they can just give them back to you. Now, if we think about this logically, we're, when you start to talk about guns don't kill people, people kill people, okay? Well, you can't regurgitate this crap from the NRA, which is not all, all, all in all a bad thing, but you can't regurgitate these talking points like that and talk about mental illness as the number one reasons for firearm deaths in the United States. And then flip the coin and go, well, that's anti. That's anti two A. If you take their guns away because they went under, you know, they they were involuntarily, involuntarily held for psychiatric review. There's a reason they were involuntarily held. Okay. Now I'm not saying this is the perfect prescription for or solution to the problem. What I'm saying is, is that you can't stand on one throne and scream the sky is blue and then jump onto another throne and scream the sky is black, okay? Because that just means that you're this consummate complainer is what this all really comes out to. 
Now, for the record, the law actually worked in the state of Florida. It actually works, okay? And it was her idea, and it turned out to be a good thing. Could it turn bad for some person who there's nothing wrong with, who runs up against a bad situation? Yeah, but then you have the opportunity to go to court and stand before a judge and say, sir, ma'am, here's what really happened. And then let the, let the judge decide whether you get those gun backs or guns back or not. I'm going to go in and say that even though there are some dirty judges out there and that there are some some politically leaning judges that are anti-2A, uh, that at some point these judges would have to figure out that this game is over with and that if they want to continue being a judge, especially if they're elected, then they need to play ball and they need to stop screwing around with the Second Amendment rights something else I wanted to tell you about this too. Um, I'm going to go. I had to get on that one. It's not coming to my mind just yet as to what I wanted to say about this particular issue that was an add-on, but I think you're getting the gist of it. Bottom line, we cannot play this game where we are picking and choosing the people that Captain Red Tide likes or doesn't like. Yeah, go, 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 fucking idiot. Excuse my French. I just got passed by a very ugly woman in a very small car who wants to go 70 in a 55. And I won't have it because I'm I'm a curmudgeon old guy and I'm just now burning time on YouTube. Anyway, that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, as usual, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up on the way out the door. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you have not noticed you've been unsubscribed, please check your bells. And if you want to support the channel, there's a way to do that. It's down there. It's down there. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. And stop, stop being so damn picky. It's a little ridiculous at this point. Enjoy the win. Bye-bye.